Hey my loves, I am coming to you with this um, DIY. I told you all that I was gonna come on here and do a custom um, rainbow highlighter. Um, I'm pretty sure you love to have seen this on the YT. Sorry, scoot my chair over. Yeah, but I know you all have seen this on the YT and I just wanted to come on here and try <laughs> to do this and I'm going to attempt to do this I am not a professional at this just as any other um, um, person on here who has done it um, I've came across a couple of photos and pictures and stuff and they came out real, real pretty and I also read up on you know the different ingredients what you need in this um, for this highlighter so basically I picked out these shadows. These shadows, um, I cannot remember the store that I got these shadows from. Um, they're, they were from, uh, they were like sample shadows, but I have a pink one. I have like this, I'm gonna say like this is a purple, purplish, purplish blue color. I have a orange one. I have a green one, a yellow, and a blue. So those are the colors that I chose and you wanna kinda put them like kinda corresponding with one another. So I basically um, put them in the order of the pink, the pink first, then the orange, then the violet, then the blue then the green and then the yellow i did choose six colors so you probably want to do the same i also have my strobe and highlight palette close by just in case i want to rub off some of these highlight colors into it what you want to do is basically mix some highlight in with your eyeshadow these are eyeshadows but you want to mix some highlight in sorry y'all you want to mix some highlight in with your shadows. Um, it's so that's why I have this on the side. I also chose this um eyeshadow too that I'm gonna mix in with these because this has an iridescent undertone, like this is very iridescent. And then I also picked out some glitter that I want to mix in with them. And I also because I've I haven't seen anybody do this, but in with the alcohol that you're going to use to get the right consistency with um for your um highlight your rainbow highlighter i'm also going to put a few drops in of this uh, um cream illuminator i got this from five and below because i haven't seen anybody do that and we all know that this gives you know a highlight and radiant effect so i said well, i wonder what happens if i put some of this in so um I'm gonna do that and I have my um, little bottle of this is alcohol um, jojoba oil and dimethicone or whatever that is I'm gonna use this as a mixing agent um, I got this from um, the body needs to.com supposedly this is a compressor this is used to compress and to make um, like your eyeshadow palettes, like your loose eyeshadows is for it to compress. So I said this will be perfect for me to get. So I'm going to open this. And basically you're going to see me go ahead and start mixing. I have this old plate here. This is a very old plate. My daughters do not use it. So I said, well, I'm going to use that. I have a butter knife because I'm going to throw that away. It's a plastic knife. And then I have another bowl because being that I have six colors, I needed another bowl. And this bowl can be thrown away. I have hundreds of those bowls. And you're also going to need your toothpicks. You have, um, you need six toothpicks to mix your um, eyeshadows. Um, as far as your um, alcohol, you want to do it by droplets. You don't want to put a whole, whole lot because it may end up being too runny. You want to make it like into a paste. So 
with combining this and this, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna need a whole, whole lot. I'm gonna do a couple of droplets of this and I'm gonna do a couple of droplets of this. Um, you're also gonna need your compact. I got this, you all saw me haul this on um, my The Body Needs To haul that was just recent. I will put it somewhere in this video that I just recently posted. You're gonna put your um, shadows in here. This is a small little compact. I think this was like maybe $3, two, $3. But um, it also has the mirror on top, so yeah. And then you're gonna need a paper towel, just one little paper towel. So I hope I don't make a lot of mess because then that means I'm gonna have to go back in my kitchen and get more paper towels. But you're just gonna need one paper towel and that is what you're gonna use to press down on your highlighter once you have it all in your compact to get any access oils from out of your highlighter. So basically that's everything that I needed to tell you before we get started. So let's begin. I'm 
hoping that it does um set and dry like I want to want it to um it's supposed to sit for about um 24 hours so yeah but I just wanted to test it out and see how it would come out and it's not easy to do believe me but just wanted to see how it would come out so I'm just going to let it sit for 24 hours and then tomorrow um, I will be back on here to let you lovies know how I, basically to show y'all the outcome of this. So yeah, once again, this is my rainbow highlighter and I'm going to clean up around the edges. And basically, you pressing it with the paper towel is to get the excess alcohol out of it. But you're supposed to let it sit, um, like I said, for 24 hours. And it may look a little weird on the top. That's because I sprinkled highlighter on the top also. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoy this DIY. And do stay tuned for an update video to, I guess, tomorrow night if I can get it out. And yeah, that's the end of this video and I will see you lovers in the next video. Thanks for watching.